and this is Kids Craft. Today, we're gonna make a cross-stitch washi tape game mural for your wall. And one of my favorite things about this craft is that it only has one material that's super cheap, and that's washi tape. In case, yep, Millie knows, that's right. We didn't plan this. So the great thing about washi tape is that unlike any other tape that you put on your wall, it's not going to pull the paint off. Now what are we doing with this? We are making a cross stitch mural of Pac-Man. So what I've done is, I've gone ahead and sketched it out on graph paper. We're going to make it available to those guys. And uh, I've set up a guideline using the washi tape, which I already checked to make sure it was level with my phone. You can use an old school level, you can just eyeball it. Because to me, one of the great parts of doing something for yourself rather than buying it at a store is that, you know, it is imperfect. Because it, it's, it's handmade, you made it. So that's what we're gonna do on the wall while your parents are away. So, super scientific way to do the length because you want each piece of washi tape to be the same size so that all of your cross stitch X's are the same size. Is you do it. You just do it. Take a guide, like I decided this was about the length that I wanted, and then you create a guide. I'm gonna put one piece right there, and one piece right there. And now Millie can, can help me out and be a darling, and cut some more pieces that are exactly this length, and we're gonna line them up right here. So while Millie gets to work doing that, I'm gonna start the mural. So I already know from my drawing that the first one has to be five X's across. So that's what I'm going to start using my guideline. So now we have our first X, and as you probably saw, I repositioned it a few times. And once again, like that's the great thing about washi tape, is that you can keep removing it and make it the way you want it, and it's never going to mess up or stain or scratch your paint. So now we got one down, four more to go. Alright, we've got our first line done, and as you could probably see, you just lay them down and then you want to make sure you really smooth them and push out any wrinkles. So now this is the bottom of our Pac-Man, and we're going to do the next line, which is seven. And so you can now use this as essentially the new guideline, and you're going to lay them on there based on this edge right here. Hey Millie, guess what? The Pac-Man is halfway done! I don't know if you can really see it yet, but like, here's like the roundness of the Pac-Man's body. This is the beginning of Pac-Man's open mouth, and so it's gonna come back up like this. And then we're gonna do, you know, the little pieces that he eats. And then it's gonna be done, so let's keep going. Ah! <laughs> I hate this, can we switch? Sure, you wanna make some X's? Yes, my okay. thumbs are like exhausted. I 100% believe in your ability to make X's. Okay, you're gonna extend this one to be one more L. Alright. Because we're making the top of his mouth now. Just his little Pac Man mouth is all. Except for little Pac. He's just a little Pac Man. Just, he's just trying to eat everything. I don't know. Pac Man? I used to like, I think maybe because I was like, you know, like, like many people, Pac Man was one of the first games I ever played. I feel like I attached a lot of emotional importance to Pac Man's saga. Because I was like, he's just trying to get out of this maze, he's finding food on the ground, he doesn't have anything, he has no allies basically, except for when the ghosts turn blue. And you know, like those ghosts are like gonna come out of the walls and just chase them, like as if life isn't difficult enough. I'm just like, leave Pac Man alone, you know what I'm saying? It's a video game, Chelsea! You have to go through the maze! I'm... He's also not a real character, I know you're emotional and stuff, and it's been like years and years and years ago. Years and years! <laughs> Pac-Man, cross-stitch Pac-Man. <laughs> Nailed it. Crushed it. All right. So now we're gonna do. Ah, oh, was terrifying. <laughs> so now we're gonna do uh, two or three X's to be the Pac-Man power pellets, just to truly drive home to anybody visiting this house that this is a Pac-Man mural. So we're gonna line that up with like kind of the edge of his mouth. 
What does he eat? He eats power pellets for strength, I assume, and power. Dude. I remember one time I saw a video on YouTube that was like um, a live action movie of what it would really be like if like Pac-Man was the villain in like a scary movie. And it was just like a giant yellow orb chasing. More. What, really? Ah, <laughs> oh, you think you're so funny. All right. Anyway, wouldn't it be scary if a big giant yellow sphere like chased you through a high school? Mm -hmm. It was like waga 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 waga. <laughs> if you want to learn more about some of the kids crafts we've done in the past, you can click on the Pac-Man to see some of our future videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you can try this out for yourself. Hey, Jeff. Didn't think you were coming home right now. Is this you? <laughs> Did you do this to my wall? Let's go. Are you gonna clean it? <laughs> Run! Hey, come here, clean it. Take it. What is this? Take this off. Wait, no, 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 wait, but those are his power pellets. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, that's not. Well, get it while you still can. <laughs> while it's still here. Alright, well.